Hi, it's Jessica here with Seal Art Chiropractic, and today I'm going to be showing you a yoga flow that you can do at home if you wanted to increase your spine flexibility. So first, before we begin, I invite you to do a quick meditation. So we're going to find a comfortable seated position. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to take an inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good, and again, in through the nose, ends out through the mouth. Good, keeping our eyes closed, you can return to your regular breathing. I just want you to become aware of your inhale and aware of your exhale. I want you to notice your shoulders, are they up towards your ears? Or are you able to relax them down your back? softening our face. We're going to take one more inhale and then exhaling through the mouth. Good. And softly opening our eyes. Good. So again, keeping a nice straight spine, making sure our head is above our heart and our heart is below our pelvic region. We're just going to reach one arm up big reach up towards the sky and we're really focusing on opening up the side here right over by the rib cage good and taking an inhale in and exhaling out good doing the other side so readjusting really just keeping our spine nice and flexible during this video bringing one arm up and over a big tall reach and again focusing on opening the ribs, always just moving gently. Taking an inhale in and exhaling through the mouth. And gently coming back to a neutral spine. From here, we're going to place one hand behind our head and placing the opposite hand on the opposite knee. We're going to bring our elbow up towards the sky again, really opening up the side of the rib here. Good. And if it's available, the hand that's on the knee, you can give that knee a gentle pull. And so what that's going to do is it's going to create a nice twist in the thoracic spine. So again, taking an inhale in and exhaling out. Good. Just allowing your body to melt into each pose, allowing your exhale to help your spine relax. To a neutral spine and doing the other side so hand behind our head opposite hand on our knee again bring our elbow up towards the sky really opening up the side of our ribs good and then bringing a nice pull on the hand that's on the knee and again taking an inhale in and exhaling out Again, just relaxing the spine, allowing the spine to just gently twist and melt into each pose. Good. Coming back to a neutral spine. Again, just kind of keeping our spine loose in this video. We're going to come over into a seated position with our legs out in front of us. And here we're going to cross one foot either on the outside of the knee or on the inside. If you tend to have low back problems, I would keep the foot on the inside of the knee. That kind of helps that uh, SI joint from feeling a pinch in it. Good. So keeping a nice, tall, straight spine. We're not gonna compress our hands here. We're not compressing onto the wrist. We're just more using it to kind of help stabilize us. Good. And again, inhale in. And on our exhale, bringing a twist into the spine. And we really wanna focus on not cranking our bodies in this or cranking our neck towards the back. I just want you to feel your spine kind of release into the twist. Good. So again, taking an inhale in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Good. Remembering not to clench our teeth or crank our head towards the back. It's always good to be nice and kind to your spine. Good. 
and back. Both legs out in front of us. You can kind of shake your legs out, just kind of loosen everything up. Again, we're gonna do the opposite side now. So again, if you're having low back problems, the foot can go on the inside of the knee, but if you'd like to try, the foot can come out here on the outside. Again, straight spine, relaxed shoulders, bringing one hand back. We're going to inhale and exhale. Coming into a nice light twist. And remember not to break our heads towards the back. Really the focus is here on the thoracic spine. Good, another inhale in. And then exhaling out. Good, bring your legs back forward, just kind of loosening everything up. From here, we're gonna come into a forward fold. So the focus of this forward fold is to round the spine towards the back. So we're bring, gonna bring um, a forward fold into it. And then later we're going to be doing kind of a back bend. So again, if you have knee problems or back problems, you can bend your knees a little for this because all the focus is on rounding the spine towards the back. So taking an inhale in and exhale. Coming forward. Good, and I really want you to focus on opening up the shoulders, opening up the back of the spine, just allowing for more space in between each vertebrae. Very good. Coming up gently, going to lay flat on our backs, coming into supine position. Here you can either keep your hands on your tummy or you can bring them out in a T-post position. We're gonna have our knees bent with our feet flat on the floor. And I just want you to give your spine a second to kind of relax onto the mat after being up and moving. Good, so taking a breath in and then exhaling out. And just giving your spine permission to relax. From here, we're going to bring our knees over to one side. Good, and you're gonna be feeling this twist in the hip area, sometimes on the side of the leg. And then taking a breath. Coming up, doing the other side. So again, always just taking your time. I'm not here to rush you. out we're going to give both knees a hug again always remembering to relax the spine getting our feet down we're going to roll over onto our right side and then making our way onto our stomachs again always just taking your time when we're moving from either sitting to laying flat on our back to laying flat on our stomachs from here we're going to keep our hands flat on the mat right next to our ribs i'm going to show you two variations of our back bend today so if it's available, you can either come all the way up into up dog, keeping the tops of the legs and the feet flat along the floor, really focusing on bringing the head out of the trunk of the body. Or if that's a little too much for you, we can come into Cobra. And so in Cobra, you just focus more on lifting the chest off of the front of the mat and bringing your shoulder blades towards the wall behind you. Good, so in both variations, really focusing on bringing the neck out of the body. Just remembering to breathe. Coming into our tabletops. So tabletop, you want to remember to keep your wrists below your elbows and your elbows below your shoulders, keeping our knees directly below our hips. Okay, we're going to come into cat cow. <clears throat> so starting with the first one, coming into cat, we curve our spine up towards the ceiling, opening up the back of the shoulder blades. Bring our chin into our chest, almost as if we're bringing our tailbone in towards our forehead. Good, and then coming into the cow part, dropping our spine down towards the floor, elongating the front of the neck, bringing the shoulder blades back to touch each other. Good, just alternating this movement. 
You can go with your breath. So exhaling, coming into cat. Inhale, coming into cow. Now we do that one more time. Exhale, coming into cat. Inhale, coming into cow. Very good. And our last pose that we'll be doing today is called thread the needle. So again, we're gonna be in our tabletop position, making sure our spine is parallel to the earth. We're gonna bring one arm up, big tall reach up towards the sky. This is gonna help bring a light twist into the thoracic spine. Get a big reach up towards the sky, and then exhaling, bringing the opposite arm, bringing the arm through the opposite thigh and the opposite arm. Your top hand can either be flat on the floor with your elbow at a 90, you can bring your hand to lay flat over the head. But always remembering to breathe. Okay. Coming back up. And doing the opposite side. So arm up, big tall, reach up towards the sky. And then bring our, opposite, our arm between our opposite thigh and our opposite arm. joining me today and I hope to see you next time. Namaste.